The magmatic dynamo is a machine that can use hot liquids such as lava to generate redstone flux. It's very simple to use, only requiring one input, which is its fuel. And at present, there's only two types of fuel it can use, lava and blazing pyrothium. There are several other hot liquids from other mod packs, such as Tinker's Construct, that seem like they should work as a fuel source, but they don't just yet. This might change in future updates, however. The magmatic dynamo has no inventory slot on its interface, which means that you can't place buckets of liquids inside. Instead, simply right-clicking on the exterior of the dynamo with the bucket in hand will do the trick. You can also pump the liquids in via buildcraft pipes or fluid ducts if you want. As soon as the magmatic dynamo is supplied with a compatible fuel source, it will begin producing redstone flux. The exterior of the dynamo will light up when this happens. This bar here on its interface will show you the amount of redstone flux it currently has stored in its internal buffer. The internal buffer can hold a total of 40,000 redstone flux. I strongly recommend that you carry the power away and store it in an energy cell. This is because the magmatic dynamo will slow down its redstone flux production as the internal buffer fills up. It provides the most redstone flux per tick when the buffer is empty. Also, the energy stored in the internal buffer will decrease over time, and the magmatic dynamo will continue producing redstone flux to keep up with the amount that its buffer is decreasing by. So, for example here, this dynamo is at maximum capacity, but the fuel in its storage tank is still being depleted. This is because the internal buffer is draining, even though you can't see it. This is why it's best to move the redstone flux to a more effective storage device. The magmatic dynamo will output at a rate of 80 redstone flux per tick. Flux can only be carried out of the dynamo through this face, so make sure the dynamo is facing the right way if you're connecting it directly to an energy cell, or if you're using energy conduits, make sure they're attached to the correct face. There are three other dynamos that you might be interested in. I have separate tutorials for all of those located here if you're interested. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a like, and if you want to see more tutorials like this one, you might want to consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, and have a great day!